The Gallows Grin, Part 1 The sun beat down on Dust Devil Creek, baking the parched earth and turning the air thick and heavy. A lone figure rode into town, his Stetson pulled low over his eyes, casting a shadow that hid the deceitful glint in their depths. Jebediah's Jeb Stone, they called him, a man whose reputation preceded him like a dust storm. He was a silver-tongued devil, a charmer, a liar, so skilled he could convince a rattler to shed its skin inside out. Jeb sauntered into the saloon, his spurs clinking on the wooden floor. The room fell silent, every eye drawn to him like moths to a flickering flame. He was trouble, that much was clear, but trouble that wore a handsome face and a smile as warm as a summer's day. Whiskey, he rasped, his voice rough as gravel. And make it snappy, barkeep. I ain't got all day. The barkeep, a burly man with a handlebar mustache that could rival a walrus, hurried to pour him a drink. Jeb downed it in one gulp, the amber liquid disappearing down his throat like a desert mirage. Now, he declared, slamming the empty glass on the counter. I'm looking for a man. Name's Caleb Quick Draws McGraw. Any of you varmints know where I can find him? A tense silence hung in the air. Quick draw McGraw was a legend, a gunslinger faster than a striking cobra. He was also a man who didn't take kindly to being hunted. Finally, a grizzled old cowboy in the corner spoke up. You'll find him at the Golden Nugget, he croaked, his voice like dry leaves rustling in the wind. But I'd advise you to tread carefully, son. Quick draw ain't a man to be trifled with. Jeb flashed a grin that didn't quite reach his eyes. Appreciate the tip. Old-timer, he drawled, turning to leave. Don't you worry, none. I know how to handle myself. But as Jeb stepped out into the blinding sunlight, a flicker of doubt crossed his face. He'd lied, of course. He wasn't just looking for quick draw Mugraw. He was there to kill him. Jeb had a score to settle, a debt to repay. Quick draw had humiliated him years ago, exposed him as a fraud in front of the whole town. Jeb had vowed revenge, and now, finally, he had his chance. He found Quick Draw at the Golden Nugget, just as the old-timer had said. The gunslinger was sitting at a poker table, his face an impassive mask. Jeb strolled over, his hand hovering near the colt strap to his hip. McGraw, he said, his voice low and dangerous. We got some unfinished business. Quick Draw looked up, his eyes as cold and hard as flint. Stone, he acknowledged, his voice flat. I should have known you'd crawl out of the woodwork eventually. I ain't here to talk, Jeb snarled, drawing his gun. I'm here to finish what you started. The saloon erupted in chaos. Patrons dove for cover as the two men faced off, their gun spitting fire and fury. The air filled with the acrid smell of gunpowder and the deafening roar of gunfire. Jeb was fast, but quick draw was faster. He moved like a phantom, he's gone a blur of motion. Jib felt a searing pain in his shoulder, then another in his leg. He stumbled back, his vision blurring. He saw Quick Draw standing over him, his gun pointed at Jeb's heart. Jeb closed his eyes, waiting for the inevitable. But the shot never came. Instead, he heard a gasp, followed by a thud. He opened his eyes to see Quick Draw slumped on the floor, a look of disbelief etched on his face. Standing behind him, gun still smoking, was the grizzled old cowboy from the saloon. Never approach a fool from any direction, the old man said, his voice surprisingly strong. Especially when he's got a friend watching his back. Jeb stared at the old man, his mind reeling. He'd been played. The old timer, the tip about the golden nugget, it had all been a setup. But why? The old man knelt, his eyes boring into Jeb's. You see, Jebediah, he said, a chilling smile spreading across his face. Quick draw was my son. And you, you killed his brother. Jeb's blood ran cold. He'd been caught in a web of deceit, his lies turned against him. He'd underestimated his enemies, and now he was paying the price. The old man raised his gun, his finger tightening on the trigger. Jeb closed his eyes, accepting his fate. Bang! The sound of the gunshot echoed through the saloon, leaving behind a silence heavier than a tombstone. But when the smoke cleared, 
It wasn't Jeb lying on the floor. The old man stared in disbelief at his chest, a crimson stain blossoming on his shirt. Behind him stood a figure, tall and imposing, shrouded in shadow. Never approach a father in mourning from any direction, the figure said, his voice a low growl. Especially when you've just killed his son. To be continued.